Hello folks. We're at the top of North Bourne Street Park Lane here. Yeah. Now I come here because you know uh, this pub here. This pub was an old pub this. Gets a different clientele in these days. For good reason. For very good reason. Aye. It's called the pa the Paradise Ear Lounge now. Well this place. This place folks. Right? I come here for good reason. It was called the Chess, this pub, right? And it was a naughty pub, proper naughty pub this this was. It's been named the Chess twice. You know, every time something got ba bad happened in it, you know, uh, violence and stuff like that, you know, uh, the Closer Dune, rename it the Independent and stuff like that. And then a few years ago, it got reopened up as a chess again. Right, and then someone got stabbed outside, I think, in or oh, beaten to death, so that's what happened there. But the reason why I come here, right, is this pub was one of the naughtiest pubs in Newcastle. This is where everybody in the tune and all that, run the West End and all that, used to come from Winley and all over the place to come and buy a ten dealer weed, yeah. Ten dealer solid. Right? And because I've been talking, I mentioned Michael Conroy. Now I'm uncomfortable with mentioning Michael Conroy, but since I've mentioned him, I thought I should tell you a little bit about him. Right? Well, he was Paddy's younger brother. But this kid could fight for fun. A lot worse than Paddy. Paddy's lightweight compared to Michael. And to prove a point to the West End, you see, back in the day, right? You'd have... He, Michael had earned his reputation as the hardest man in the West End. But, right, in all the pubs run this West End, right, you had, they were all tooled up. A lot of the people in the pubs were tooled up. Machetes, chaves, bottles of ammonia, stuff like that. That's what was going on in this pub. In the chess, this Chesterfield was a naughty pub, you know. And Michael, wanting to assert his authority, walked in, ballied up, allegedly, with machetes and sliced up some naughty people, naughty heads in the pub. Just so he sent a message to the rest of the West End that he could fight with knives as well as his hands. No. This is just allegedly. But, you know, the thing bit different between Michael and Paddy Right, is whenever Paddy done out wrong, everybody on the street knew about it. Right? But you see with Michael, when anything happened, when he done anything naughty, nobody knew it was him. No, what undermines me with the CRs? in the theory about this year's in Viv, right? Is that, ah, nah, I'm absolutely, I cannot see it for a fact because I wasn't there and I wasn't involved, right? But what I can see, right, is, yes, what I can see is that the Sears got, the Sears got blamed for the shooting in the tune. I had nothing to do with them. 
that I know that was done by the Conroy family, but not Paddy. The naughty part of the Conroy family. But, aye folks, so, remember Paddy keeps on bringing up this story about the Uns attack it and stole who he's, he's skipping all that. Aye, well this is the corner in Northbourne Street, yeah. So I sit on the wall, just yeah. Just yeah. And there was a school here. Still manipulating that poor kid to this day. To this day, still manipulating that dog walker to this day. But I, but getting back to Michael, Michael was naughty for very good reason. Paddy never done anything like that. There was never any talk about Paddy. Now we see us on his McIntyre video when uh, when when McIntyre turned on and says to him in the car. So Paddy, what are you best well known for in the tune? <laughs> And what did he say? Violence. Took him two seconds to see violence. Aye. Well, he wasn't. He was known for being a bully, and his brother was known for the proper violence. He was the one with his hands and with, with, with dirty as well. Well, this is the corner of GM Street, this. And I come here, right? It brings back a memory. Like them two windows there. See them two windows? I remember me and Davy kicked that door in because we got told there was a beast in that house, a lodger, who had been doing things with a bairn. A single mother I knew who lived there. And he wouldn't leave the house. So me and Davy kicked the door and tried to get a hand and he died through them two, through one of them windows to get away from me. I think you hurt yourself as well, doing it. But yeah, this is GM Street. <laughs> Aye, folks. But, yeah, this is where me and Davey hung out every day. Because before he moved to the bottom, he lived half a year doing here. But I, what was I talking about? Make a lie. He was there, uh, the boy, like. He was definitely the boy. He was, Michael was definitely the ear, the ear side, the ear, the ear side. And Paddy was definitely the B side. So when he was talking about, and Matt and Taylor saying, what you rest down on for? Violence! No. He's rest down for bullying, weak, and vulnerable people, right? And his brother was the was the boy. His brother is like worse than Paddy. A hundred times worse than Paddy. Well, a lot worse, shall I say. So But he's put all that behind him now, I believe. But I just thought I'd walk down GM Street, see how things are. Uh, there's got to be more stuff, there's loads of stuff I want to talk about in the region, you know. I was going to take White Lang Benwell and all that, but I don't know. It's kind of drizzly. Yes. Yes, folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give that a knock it off for a minute.